what we play viewers things were a little busy for a few minutes and they still are but I think I have the East River to myself for a short time I'm getting a huge boost from the current there goes a uh, oh I don't know what that would have been I fall so there's some action over here too Hang on, here's a little wave action from that dug in from that barge thing. Yeah. I don't want to get too close to this side because I'm going to be off limits. So I'm not going to go up to the front of the boat. I'm going to stay by the steering wheel. And the autopilot's running things right now. And if it has trouble because the current is uh, causing swirls, then I have to uh, switch over to hand steering. It's always fun to see kind of a minor highway and like exit signs right right next to the water i always get i always get a kick out of that when i'm passing through here going in this direction uh be that you don't see the uh the road sign so much going the opposite direction oh my goodness here's some waves i'm glad this is a strong boat That's from uh, the current pouring through and a little bit of action from that, that barge thing that went by and the waves from it bounce off the walls. It's not from the wind. There's very little wind right now. But look at this. <laughs> look at this crazy wave action. If I had a weaker boat, I would... Uh... Thank you, Paul, for your geography lesson. I, I have no idea where these places are unless you go by the road signs. I'm looking up ahead, I have to make it another, a little bit more of a left turn. But right now I'm just hanging on. I'm almost thinking of slowing down. You'll see why in just a second. This is a little unusual. It's that, that thing that went by at the beginning of the scope, causing a lot of this ruckus. I don't think I've... Uh... Yeah, okay. There's also the, the odd, uh, the odd tramway that's up here. I'm just hanging on. Oh my goodness! So far, the front of this boat has never gone underneath the water from a wave, and I hope it doesn't. I hope today's not the first day. Holy moly! Let's look on the other side. I need to change hands. So the rough seas are are abating slightly. Boat's doing fine though. This, this boat's built to take that kind of fun. Not so sure about the skipper. It's always nice to have a... Uh, yeah, Roosevelt Island. You know your New York City. Let's take... I always have to take a quick look back. There's a, uh, a trawler following me. Up ahead is a, a restricted area full time near the UN building. So I'm going to stay more to the more to the middle when I get up this way. I think the autopilot's having a little struggle in this swirling current. Hope I have a good signal. You never know in New York. There's so many people here using their phones. What's my speed? No one's asking what my speed is. It's 10.3. I heard someone say they're going through the East River on the radio. Some commercial traffic. So we're coming up to this odd uh, tramway and, uh, and an, art, an artwork. This red thing and uh, with the, uh, the hoops is some kind of an artwork. Uh, here's more rough seas. You know, I don't think I've ever seen it quite this bad, just by itself. Holy cow. You know, I'm not, I'm not hitting this at peak current either. I am going pretty fast. But if I waited another two hours to go through, it would be even faster. Okay. 
kind of listening a little bit to the radio traffic there, talking about the sailboat. There's only a few of us nearby. This is where I'm keeping more to the center than to the right. Off to the right up ahead is a no-go zone. No, it's not. It, well, it's a little windy, not too much. It's, it's not the wind that's causing all this all this action. It's causing a little bit of this wind. It's certainly not as much as I'm, I'm getting. All right, what's happening up ahead? Is someone coming? Yeah, somebody is coming. I'm not sure what, what course this boat's set to hold. It's on autopilot. Taking a look back. Probably creeping up on me. Yeah, we're getting bounced around too. So there's a ferry terminal up here. And I hope that boat goes into it. Turn a little bit to, to the left. I'd rather go down the middle than things on the right. I think things are calmed down. We're, we're through the worst. Uh, speed's down to 8.9. It was at 10.3 earlier. It's whizzing along. It's some kind of a, a boring system that they've set up. I'm not sure for what. Kind of cool to see all the traffic keeping along. Yeah, this. There's a sign for, for Interstate 495 East. It's crazy that the, you know, the highway signs, right? Right where you can go by and see them on the boat. Doesn't happen too often. Yes, it is. And, uh, and as an FYI, the United Nations is... Uh, well, good, good Scott. The United Nations is about to open. And in about a week, this whole river will be shut, completely closed because there'll be so many heads of state present, they do that for uh, security reasons. Uh, years ago, I, I was halted. We had, we had to pause for a little while, and we got to see uh, President Obama taking off in, in one of five look-alike helicopters. So that was pretty cool. They also have, uh, they also station people on the, uh, on, over on this side, on all the piers, their helicopters are, are operating near uh, to make sure no one is there with any kind of high-powered uh, weaponry. All right, have the shift course. One, two, three, four, five. So there's ferries coming, there's ferries going. Somewhere in front of me is a little motorboat, and he's going to have to look out for me because my course is somewhat erratic. We'll get, get bounced by him too, but probably nowhere near as much as, as earlier. They hate that building. Well, yes, you know, I can see why, and, and I think it should move somewhere else too. Uh, it causes a, a huge disruption. And there's really no reason it has to be where it is, but... That's a legacy thing, and I have a feeling that building's gonna stay. All right, we're all clear on this side. Let's check for the ferries. There's one leaving, there's a bunch tied up. I'm gonna have to check my GPS and alter my course a little bit and go by seven degrees. One, two, three, four, five change course for a buoy. Let's take another look back. You never know what's coming. The uh, control is pitching up to me. It's a much better view looking back because we're looking into the sun in this direction. Here's the, uh, the uh, welcome UN building. So the next challenge is, is ferries and I'll be off to the side for quite a while. Not where they normally run. And 
I think I'll scope out it at some point in this this transit and start up another one. Empire State Building. Uh, is that the Empire State Building poking up? You can see I don't know my geography of New York. But I know I think it has a spire. You can barely see the tip of it. You're gonna see it and see something going down through the gap. There is no gap. How are we doing on course? I have to pay attention to my navigation, not the chat. Still good on course. Behind the UN. Okay, well here guys. I'm not sure which one it is, but apparently it's one of those. I'm not always looking at the screen. I'm coming up to a, a green buoy and I have to make a course change. I see three helicopters with their rotors spinning. The one's just taken off. You can see the, the mist that kicks up from its uh, glass. That's one way to get to the airport by helicopter. They're in a real hurry. That must be a tricky place to land. You've got, you've got funny winds in there. And you can't, uh, you can't really make a mistake in, in certain directions. So there goes the helicopter. Here comes the buoy. And then I'll be in the clear for a little while. There'll still be a bunch of ferries going back and forth. If I'm still transmitting, somebody send me a heart. I never know how my signal holds up here. Thank you. All right, little course change. I like the fact that these most of these ferries are fast. It means one, they go by quickly and out of the way. And two, they don't leave much weight. Ferries that, that plow along at more modest speed, with another one backing out. And leave the way. Two helicopters waiting for takeoff. Alright, have another little course change. I have to push the uh, the autopilot button for every degree of course change I want, or I can hold it down and get 10. A little wave action from that yellow ferry that went out. Anybody coming? This is a, a somewhat busy area, so I gotta keep, you can't see there's ferries on that side too. that come down the uh, the other side of the East River. Now I can hear the helicopter. You see how I have to keep busy scanning. Even though most of the traffic is, is going in, in either this direction or the opposite direction. They're not coming generally from the side, but ferries that pull out are the, uh, the, the big unknown. So like this one over here, that one back there, they're just sort of cutting across, which is not a normal shipping direction for tugboats and whatnot. All right, I can edge a little bit closer to shore. Closer I am to the shoreline, the fewer boats I'm going to encounter. So that was a, uh, what's usually I consider one of the, the higher stress points of going through here. Because there's a, a major ferry terminal in this area. And it's narrow, now it's widened out. And I can hug the shore. I'll get up to this, uh, this old power station. Oh, you know, I'm trying to get this out of the way. And it keeps moving down. Bear with me. So, I don't think it's going to stay for too long. Alright. What's happening over here? This is the better direction, I guess. Not quite as looking into the sun. Another helicopter took off. The trawler's going to pass me soon. There's a uh, ferry maneuvering.
airplane flying by. New construction, it looks like. Somewhere up, up in this cluster up ahead was an old sugar factory, which they finally uh, more or less removed to make apartments. I'm not sure if they, uh, if they actually kept the facade that said sugar. I think they might have, but I think we, we might get a chance to see it. This little spot over here counts itself as a marina. But it only has room for like, like a dozen huge yachts. It's certainly not the kind of small boat marina you normally, normally think of. So this is the easy, easy part for another uh, 15 minutes or so. What's the GPS say? Oh, it doesn't say much. It says my next waypoint is in half an hour. This is the old Snapple factory. So going through here is fairly, uh, fairly straightforward. I'm going to uh, just go out in a minute, take a little break, and start up another part. Once we get to a little more of, uh, of the tip of Manhattan, this is this new apartment isn't all that uh, all that gripping. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope to catch you again in just a little bit.